I was really, oh my gosh, am I gonna cry about it again? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Wait, I'm like actually crying. Okay, there's a car next to me. So cold. Hello, folks, fam. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on the post notifications. Today, I am doing a little bit of a drive with me, clearly. And you know, I don't know where this video is gonna take us, so we'll see. It is far too early for me. I woke up before nine. Ugh. I have an appointment like 20 minutes away for laser hair removal. Best decision I've ever made is getting laser hair removal. Oh my gosh, why am I so tired? Okay, does anybody else have this issue? If I have to wake up, like I have an appointment, I have somewhere to be in the morning, I don't sleep. I'm so stressed about missing it. So I wake up just like every hour, just to make sure. Last night, I woke up literally stressing so hard, like I totally missed my alarm, I'm screwed, I'm gonna be late, or I thought my alarm was about to go off and I was like, wait, I decided I do wanna take a shower so I need more time, I should've woke up. I'm stressing out, but I'm so tired, I don't wanna get up, and I finally get up to check my phone. It was 2.45 in the morning, 2.45 a.m. Yeah, no, my alarm was supposed to go off at 9.30, so don't know where that came from. Then I did the same thing at around four, same thing around 5.30, then I woke up around 7, and then I finally woke up at around like 8.30, and I was like, you know what, if I go to sleep again, I'm gonna sleep and pass my alarm. So I woke up, and that's why I'm tired, because I don't get sleep when I have to be up, and it's a problem. Also, can we talk about the fit? So I'm wearing the Faux Fam Valentine's Day merch. This is our most selling merch, and it's limited edition. It only comes out during February. We're actually gonna release it a little early so everyone can for sure get theirs to wear during February. So it is now launched, it is released. I will put the link in the description. Actually, I think it's always there, but definitely go check it out. You can get the crew neck in pink or red, and it says I love you on the back. I'll put some pictures on the screen. Okay, so the merch is launched, but um, the company that I use for my merch, they're just out of stock of like so many things because of COVID. So there is no pink. It's in red or black. You can get it in a crew neck or hoodie. And they're out of stock of a lot of sizes of the red crew neck and the black hoodie, I believe. But the black crew neck and the red hoodie have lots of sizes, so I'm really sorry about that, but there's literally nothing I can do. Hopefully they can restock before the end of February, so people who want red crew neck and it's not in their size can get it. But I, I feel so bad, but there's literally nothing I can do. I love it so much. I feel like you guys are going to love it too. So if you want to support me and my husband, then go ahead and talk to some, you know? Oh my gosh, people are passing me. I don't even know. so you guys know I have this little like it's basically like a GoPro mount type vibe like it just sticks on my dash but my camera screws onto it it's a little tripod and you know how I used to have to like catch my camera every time it would fall but now I don't have to worry about that so that's great I need to get one of those things that goes like in your vent and you like put your phone in it because I never know where I'm going oh my gosh ah. okay hold on I'm scared <laughs> I hate Utah highways I hate it, I hate it. my appointment it really wasn't bad I was literally in there for 10 minutes if that it was a little worse than the legs but really not by much it's just like hot it's just like a little burn but nothing crazy it's definitely very doable and the fact that it's so fast definitely worth it I would rather spend 
less than five minutes getting my hair burned off like once every six weeks then shave um yeah i would definitely recommend so i'm now gonna head to target because my mom just texted me she's so nice she said happy anniversary i got you something at target can you go pick it up like that's so nice how has everyone been how's life how's that sounded like a tiktok sound I've been doing good. I'm actually so happy. I've been so happy the past... I really need a car wash. Sorry, I get so distracted. I've been so happy the past, like, month or so. I don't know. Oh my gosh, there's a car wash right there. Should I go? No, I already passed it. I get so distracted when I'm driving. Anyways, what was I saying? I don't really know. I need to get groceries. It's honestly not too much, like, new with me. The other day, one of my TikToks, like, went viral, which was crazy. I love TikTok so much i'm so addicted i never post on tiktok because i'm not that like creative or like not creative in that way i just don't know what to post i came up with an idea and i did it and i posted it and it like kind of went a little viral so that was fun that's pretty much the only thing new in my life <laughs> just making videos all the time you know i never know what to talk about when i do these kind of videos but they're fun driving somewhere new is like so scary like if i was back in my hometown i could do like not that I would suggest doing this, but I could do like a hundred things while driving and still know how fast I'm going, where I'm at, when my next turn is. But here in Utah, no matter where I am, even if I'm right by my house and I kind of like know where I am, I'm so lost and confused and a little stressed. There's so many lanes, so many cars, everyone, speed limits are so fast. It's like, I do like going fast, but it's still just a little scary. I was really, oh my gosh, am I gonna cry about it again? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Wait, I'm like actually crying. Okay, there's a car next to me. Okay, guys, I've been craving <laughs> wing stop so bad. <laughs> I'm actually crying about it, are you kidding me? Okay, sometimes, it's that time of the month, like, I just cry about everything. Anyways, like, no, I'm gonna cry again. Louisiana rub, bone in, with the fry, <laughs> dipping in the ranch. I don't know if I can go much longer, <laughs> literally cry, <laughs> without getting my stuff. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever cried about. Um. It just sounds so good. And I was live yesterday on TikTok and someone asked if I was eating Wingstop, but I'm trying to eat healthy. So I was like, no. And then I started crying and I was like, I'm eating healthy food. But, you know, it's Thursday and I haven't eaten anything. Like, no, I have eaten some things unhealthy. But I've eaten pretty healthy this week. And we were trying not to eat out until our anniversary and then we went to Jimmy John. Oops, but I feel like we should still get winged stuff today. Also, this is filmed um, like before my anniversary, but let's talk about that so I can stop crying. When winged stuff makes me cry, but not thinking about how I've been married to my husband for a year. <laughs> yeah, so when I'm filming this, our anniversary Sunday, it's already happened by the time you're seeing this, but I've been married for a year. What? Time goes by so fast. I was at the mall the other day, I was buying a few things, and the lady at one of the Registers was like, oh my gosh, is that your wedding ring? And I was like, yes. And she was like, it's so cute. It's the cutest wedding ring I've ever seen. I was like, thanks. I love it so much. It's like a black diamond. You guys have seen it. But then she was like, well, how old are you? And in Utah, it's like not that uncommon to say like, you know, I'm almost 20 and I'm married. But I was like, oh, well, Sunday's my one year anniversary and I turn 20 next month. And she was like, you got married that young? And then she was like, wait, when did you graduate? And I told her I graduated in 2020, which made it sound like I got married before I graduated. And I was like, wait, that is so false. I was like, sorry, I got married in 2019. But then I explained to her like how we've been friends, like our parents were friends before we were even born. Like it's kind of meant to be, you know? So we were just excited to get married and everything. And she was so happy for me, so, so nice. Like. I love good encounters like that. But I just think it's crazy that I've actually been married here. And I know I already made a whole like Q&A update video on our marriage and everything, but it's just going so good and I'm so happy. Like, I don't know where I would be without Dallin. Okay, now I am gonna cry. Ah! 
like, I can't talk about it or I'll literally cry. What is wrong with me today? Today's not my day. Well, actually, I'm really happy. I just keep crying over things that make me happy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was just gonna say that I don't know where I would be without Dallin because he helped me through the roughest times of my life and my lowest lows and he's just the best person in my entire life, okay? All right, we're gonna hold it together. That's it, that's all I'm gonna say or I'll just keep crying. You know what's unfortunate? My left side is my good side and you guys are my right side. So that's a little rude, first of all, that you guys would do that to me. I saw a TikTok, wow, I'm just rambling today. I saw a TikTok that was like, the left side of your face is how you, like, how the world perceives you or like, how you put off yourself or something like that. And then your right side is like, how you see yourself. And my left side is very like, high and like, arched and um, there's a lot of like, good structure on my left side and my eyebrow has like, a perfect arch. On my right side, that's my least favorite side. My eyebrow is not as good and my face is like slightly drooped on my right side, which I've also heard that you hold your pain and trauma on your right side. So, anyways, sometimes it just be like that, I guess. Honestly, I don't know where I am right now. I have never, ever seen where I'm at. I'm so confused. I'm trying to think of things that don't make me cry. This is so stupid, like I never like cry about stuff like this. I've never been like this, but I guess it's just one of those days. I'm also really hungry. No, food makes me cry. It's stupid, but I'm gonna cry if I think about food, okay? Suck it up, I think I need to be in the other plane. Okay, actually I know what can make me cry right now. The song Driver's License. You always made me out. I'm so hungry. Now I drive alone past your street. Wow, that, I actually, like, that's so weird. That brought me way back to high school, like, when I got my license. My boy, my boyfriend who had broken up with me before that. Anyways, I don't really care. Like, I'm married now, and I could care less, but just, you know, bring back those men's broken hearted moments. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna run into Target, and I'll be right back. All right, here's the haul for my mom. Oh my gosh, why is she the cutest person ever? Okay. She got us a, I forgot what they're called. Like you put cheese on them, the, like a cootery board, a, I don't know how to pronounce it, but she got us that. And also stuff to put on it. So like these chips, and this is like the stuff I always eat at her house. And my favorite kind of cheese. She's so sweet. Okay, I think I have something else in the other bag. And these are mugs. Oh, forever newlyweds. And and a blue one. Enjoy the journey. How cute. My mom's so cute. I love her. I'll have to send her a little message. Thanks mom if you're watching this. Let's make me cry. Okay, well my camera is about to die. So I think I'm just gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out that merch in the description. I know this video was just kind of like random, but it was just us hanging out and I enjoyed. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So I got wing stop. <laughs> <laughs>